So your Windows machine has been acting up and you've done everything you can think of to try and fix it. And you've probably gotten to the point where you're just thinking you should just wipe the drive and reinstall Windows. Or worse, buy a new machine altogether. Well, stay tuned because there may be hope for you yet. This is Nico Knows Tech. Nico Knows Tech. All your tech tips and reviews on deck. Nico Knows Tech. Number one channel with the news on check. Misbehaving PC can be caused by a number of reasons, most commonly malware, um, apps issues, or even corrupted system files. And while a reset or reinstalling Windows can often resolve your issues, oftentimes this is going to remove your apps, and in the case of a reinstall, you're going to lose your data if it has not been properly backed up. Well, I'm going to show you a couple of pro techniques that can possibly save your machine so that you don't, you don't lose your apps or your files. Now a lot of issues that people have with a misbehaving operating system is oftentimes functions of Windows such as the start menu or the settings menu won't pop up. You'll click on it and it might open and just close and any number of system issues. Now a quick way that we can resolve a lot of those issues without even talking about a reinstall is to run the system file checker which is built into Windows. The way we run that is, is we're going to have to open an elevated command prompt or as administrator. You can run Windows key plus R and then type CMD and then hold left control, left shift, and then hit enter. Now, if you don't want to do it that way, you can click into the search and type CMD and then click run as administrator. Either way works. Now, in the, uh, in the command prompt, we're going to type a few commands and I'll put these commands in description. So we're going to type SFC space forward slash scan now one word. And this is going to run the Windows System File Checker, which is going to automatically check your system files. And if it finds an issue with corruption, it's going to try and automatically fix it. And this will be 85% effective on most issues. In fact, this is the first thing that I run whenever I repair a machine because this is going to resolve a ton. And even if it doesn't fix everything, this will allow me to run Windows enough to where I can fix it. But uh, when this finds corrupted system files, it is very effective. Are you a gamer that's tired of waiting endlessly for your favorite games to go on sale? Wait no more and get your antisocial butt over to 2Game.com, where millions of gamers like you get their games super cheap right before getting wrecked by a girl. Get the hottest digital titles now so you can stop being antisocial by yourself, instead being antisocial with friends. Even new friends, woo! Use the link in the description now and get your game on with a hot gamer girl of your dreams, Ugh. Now when this finishes, it will either tell you that Windows um, Resource Protection found system corruption and that it automatically fixed it, or it might say that it could not automatically fix it and it will tell you to go online to find the files. But in that case, we're not going to do that. And then in my case, it did not find integrity violations, so I don't have to do anything here. But if you did find system corruption and it automatically repaired, you'll reboot your machine and then that part will be fixed. The next command we're going to run is called the Disk Imaging Servicing Module, which is a function of Windows which is going to compare the installation of Windows that you have against what is at Microsoft Windows Update. And the way we do that is, is again, this command will be in description. DISM space forward slash online, because we are going to compare it with online with what Microsoft has, space forward slash cleanup dash image space forward slash restore health because that's what we want to do hit enter whoops I put the wrong thing in there without the slash at the end deployment imaging uh, servicing and management tool which we call it the disk imaging servicing module which is what it used to be called and once this is done it's not going to tell us whether it was successful or it because this thing just replaces any modules that are corrupted and once this is done we can reboot the machine and this will resolve most of you guys's problems if it doesn't I'm going to show you how we can reinstall Windows like a pro to where we don't lose our apps or our files okay once the operation is completed successfully we can go to the next tool because we're gonna go as if these didn't work for you you're still having issues Okay, to reinstall Windows, we're going to need to get a good copy of the Windows Setup Disk. Now we're going to need to go to this Microsoft.com site to get the Media Creation Tool. And you can get that at the link in the description, direct from Microsoft. And what you'll also need is you're going to need an 8GB flash drive. Anything with 8GB and anything that doesn't have data because it will get erased. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to scroll down. We're not going to get the update now. We're going to download the tool. It's a Media Creation Tool. <coughs> 
And once this is downloaded, we'll open it and it's gonna get a few things ready. What this tool is gonna allow us to do is it's gonna allow us to convert that USB drive into a Windows setup disk. I'm gonna go ahead and insert my drive. Okay, it's empty. So we're going to accept the terms here. <clears throat> and we're going to click this. We don't want to upgrade the PC now. We're going to create installation media. And then the next option, we're not going to use recommended options for this PC. It will work if you put recommended options for this PC, but this is basically going to limit your options so that let's assume that you create this installed disk and you have an AMD 64 system and you want to use that drive maybe next week on a system that is Intel 32. Well, then you're going to have to create a new one because you only created it for one and it doesn't take much time more. So uncheck use recommended options for this PC. That way this drive you create can be used on any computer. All right, then we're going to select, it's already selected here, USB flash drive. It needs to be at least 8 gigabytes. I've already inserted it, and it's detected my drive. Make sure you select the one that you're going to use, and then click Next. And this is going to create a bootable drive that has the Windows install on it. All right, it's just about finished. Once it's done here, I'll be able to show you how to perform an in-place upgrade. An in-place upgrade is similar to how when you upgrade from Windows 7 to Windows 8, Windows 8 to a Windows 10, we're going to upgrade Windows 10 to Windows 10. So this is a way of reinstalling Windows, but while not losing our apps, our settings, or even our, uh, our files. Okay, we are finished. And now what you'll do is you will go to in your file explorer, navigate to the USB drive that we just created. So we'll open it up here and instead of booting from this drive or going to reset this machine through the Windows settings, we're going to use this USB drive to perform an in-place upgrade. So we'll just open it up and double click on setup. Now what we're going to do is we're going to click next going to check for updates. All right, here's where we'll select what we're going to keep. It's already set that we're going to install Windows 10 and it'll say your edition, in my case it's Pro, and it already says that it's going to keep my personal files and apps. So you can change that, but in this case I do want to keep my apps and my files. And then all we have to do is click install and what will happen is, is it's going to start the install then it'll reboot the machine and then it'll reinstall windows but you'll keep your files and apps unlike when you reset or when you wipe and reinstall the operating system congratulations on making it to the end of the video i hope this was a benefit to you if you like it please hit like and consider subscribing you can also follow me on instagram twitter you can also support me on patreon it helps me a lot and helps make a lot of things possible for the channel and i will see you next time